The ingredients for this shin of beef stew. I'm sweating down two very large white onions, just in some sunflower oil, some salt. Here's this wonderful bit of beef. You can see this huge bone section and that lovely marrow that we're going to get. I bought another bit. Just spoon that shit out with a teaspoon, you know what I'm saying? There is, however, some a bit of excess fat on here, which I will remove. And then the other ingredients will be these mushrooms, which I will put in um, whole. And if they're a little bit too big, more than a mouthful, cut them in half. Some beef stock. There's some figs. Dried figs. These will add a lovely sweetness. And just something a little bit interesting. So I'm just moving my knife along along the outside, cutting off all of this fat here. I've trimmed it now. Uh, some bits fell off in the process in doing so. I had to get inside there. Just remove some more fat. There is still some more quite hefty bits of fat but I'm going to leave those in now and I'm not going to do any kind of caramelization of this meat in they go so in with me beef stock in with me bone marrow piece some roughly chopped garlic bit of water as well I want to bring the water after I've added the mushrooms and everything, that water's got to cover everything. In we go with these whole mushrooms, wonderful. Halving some of the bigger ones, but still nice big chunks. So I've stuck a load of mushrooms in there. I'm not going to add my dried figs yet because they'll get just get too mushy. In with some mustard powder maybe about two teaspoons loads of paprika loads think of think of the Hungarian goulash not just the Mediterranean spice paprika it's very popular in Eastern Europe loads of pepper loads a little bit of cumin powder Think of curry, think of chili con carne. Little bit of red chili powder. Little bit of ginger powder. Couple of bay leaves. Big star anise. Stick two of them in. Little bit of Worcester sauce. A tablespoon or so. A nice bit of tomato puree. Mix that a little bit and I'm just going to add some water till I've pretty much covered everything and then I'm just going to bring that up to a simmer and then leave it to simmer for about until the meat is done. Okay it's been about an hour and just to show you how long this takes I mean if I just stick my fork in it and you know it's still tough what we what, what I'm looking for is for it to really just crumble apart and the reason it's not doing that yet is because these small sinewy almost spiderweb like strands of fat in between these strands of meat have yet to all disintegrate and break you can see it's starting to crumble away but still you can see these stringy bits of sinew just there that are still not breaking by themselves here's the figs lovely little things this time put those in putting those in whole Okay, I've turned off the heat and I have been removing this top layer of fat. Very important to do. It really, an overly fatty stew really just will ruin it. It will just feel heavy. 
and don't be afraid to be liberal when siphoning off the fat. If you know, you see that I've got a, I've not just got fat. I have got some of the top juices on there, but it's better to accidentally take some of those top juices than to leave too much fat. But I've pretty much got all of it there. And you can see also how the figs have really softened and puffed up a bit. They soaked up some of that juice. They just have a lovely, provide a wonderful texture. The mushrooms have just shriveled. They're tiny. And then all of this meat just falling apart. I've also added some rosemary and some chives. 